What do you got? You got I have got. This is actually your. This is my bag. Fresh bag. Yeah. Right? It's a little one. It's a little one this time. It All is right. a Rubik's World little gear bag, commonly referred to as a transmitter bag. All right. No, I do not have a transmitter in there today. What do you got? A load of goodies. Oh. You fit a lot of stuff in these little bags, don't you? You can. You can jam them full of stuff. What do you got there? What's that? This thing? is back in stock. Now, with a lot of big races and stuff going on lately, these have been selling out. These are infrared thermometer. So what? So, so you, check, you can check your forehead or what do you do? You can check your temperature. You can check your tech. Track temperature, your tire temperature, your motor temperature. That would have been really handy during lockdown, yeah. What for? When you go into the when you go on the track and you know doing the security check. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, but yeah. So in so you measure your your, your engine motor, you motors. Well, nitro, you you use it a lot. Yeah, on the head, head for on tuning the head engine. For tuning. Yep. Um, on road, we use it for track temperature, yep. um, tire temperature, yes, and motor temperature mm. predominantly. Mm. We check it like we usually well while we're tuning in testing mm. so we know how our gearings How our gearing on the motors going. Yeah, also our tire temperature front to rear How it's going and also the track temperature so we can see For our setup that day where the tracks at so when yep. we go back next time we know what the track temperature So was. it's got a really nice big display. I mean, yep. I've got a really tiny one, which is like this size Like it fits in your your tool bag easily, but you can barely read it. You can barely read it. Yeah, it's good. It's a good pocket size. I'll put mm. it in your, your tool caddy. No, really cool. All right, Sky so RC yes. infrared thermometer. What else you got there? And Axon. Full Axon restock. Axon. So, a couple of products here. These drive shaft bushes. Yep. These will do um, the Yokomo and X ray, yep. most famously. Okay. So, these go on the, they replace the steel drive cup on the front, double carbon joints, yep. um, and the nice spring loaded pin there so they lower your rotating mass mm -hmm. um and they also make it more fail safe as far as falling apart there's no grub screw to hold things together it's got mm. the locking clip yeah definitely um definitely lower place. rotating mass and yes. a really nice nice smooth operation with little play across your drive pins and excellent make really precision racing gear yeah they? yeah yeah so and you just retrofit that onto your existing car onto yes. your existing drive shafts yes 40 mil fans again a lot of big races coming up so yes. might be winter but still, especially in, in on-road, 40 yep. mil motor fan is critical in all but few classes. Mm -hmm. So Axon make really good fans there back yes. in. Okay. ESC fans. Difference between an ESC fan and a 30 mil motor fan is a little white plug. Because mm -hmm. that will fit on all dash, orca, and other speed controllers. Yeah. Won't fit every speed controller, but just check if your speed controller has little... Um, JST Micro or something, mm. I think they call it, which is a very common well, it makes it a bit easier, port. doesn't it? Plug and play. <laughs> Plug and play, because they uh, usually you have a fan port on your ESC, mm. your electronic speed controller. Yep. Ah, oh, we had a full Dash Arrow Max. Mm. So Dash is the electronic arm, yes. so to speak, of Arrow Max. Mm. So Arrow Max make all the tools and the hardware. Yes. Dash makes best looking electronics out there and this, these are these weapons aren't they absolute weapons so here in my hand this is the eight scale mm -hmm. so this is the dash r tune that's a 2150 kv yeah good to have that back in that is really popular with guys that like heaps of power yep um and truggies and 1900 kv this is just the go-to if mm -hmm. you're in ep8 1900 kv is more than enough power for all but very few applications yeah and Depends how sensible you are. So the mini you... buggies we had with 2,000 kV, let's get spot on, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yep. Get there, 2,000 kV. Yep. Oh. Oh, look what we've got here. What's that? This is a little... Where's my knife that's like? Yeah, it's over there on the bench. This is something that we just cannot keep enough in stock. As you guys know, we really are a big supporter of Fataba. It's our favorite radio. Here is a heavy duty lipo to go in all but a few of their surface radios. So that will go 3PV, 4PM, mm. 4PX, 7PX, yep. and 10PX. Yep. This is a 6.6 .6 volt life battery, yep. 2400 milliamps. So it's better than anything that comes from the Fataba factory. Yep. I think even the 10PX only has an 1100 milliamp mm. battery. That last ages, isn't it? So more than double. Um, yeah, so really, really popular. So that will fit. 
and the other radio the three pvs and the four pms that don't have lipos in them they have the double a battery cradle yep you so just, this will just drop in there yep you okay. take that out and drop this one in the cradle right, they all have the same cradle nice so that is really really cool that is a little life battery there from aramax mm -hmm. um and of course they do them for Senwa as well and it's okay. a 6,000 milliamp. Wow. Because Sanwas have a big problem with, because I think they only have a 2,000 milliamp battery, but they're only single cell. Right. So they do chew up a lot more current. And got a huge thing. display. They've got a huge display. Right. So they do a 6,000 milliamp one. So if you have a top level competition for Taba or Sanwa, this yes. is designed for the M17. Right. Okay. Get yourself an Aramax battery. Mm -hmm. um, nitro car pack. Oh, so this is pack? really receiver pack mm. in a nitro buggy, predominantly. Yep. Old hump pack, commonly wow. referred to. And what else have we got? Ah, oh, 17 mil wheel wrench. Really cool to have that back in. Yep. These work really well. Body reamer. Again, we'd sell 50 of these a month. Mm. Really good to have them back in. <laughs> Get a good grip on these. Oh, Simple but fantastic ride height gauge. I think these come out just about every three weeks. This is mm. my, if you race one tenth on road and you don't have one of these, you're doing it wrong basically. These are awesome. Mm. These will do anything from 12th scale to TCR to 0.1 mil increments. That's right. Shock pliers, again, one of our highest selling items from Aramax. Yep. Really good. Um, oh, it definitely makes life easier. Hard anodized. Really good for doing your shocks and diffs and mm. working with your plastics, not scratching shock shafts, holding things together. Yes. Really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got a restock of the caster pointers. And these are used for the Aramax 4D setup oh, station. Oh, that's right. The new setup stations, yes. Yep. So the 4D setup stations are capable of giving you caster, point, caster, caster reference angles yes but you need these little pointers for it yeah and these are just suit the a800 so the automatics the mtc2 the Mugen, Mugen. and the x4 x-ray yes so that will do all those three cars okay and pinions oh those chunky ones we have got eight scale pinions in really really cool mod one pinions yeah with a five mil shaft well, and that's, those on the bike factor, I think. that's what will go into your um gt e8 yeah, so buggy or um, your EP8 buggy or truggy yep. five millimeter shaft mod one steel pitch, st yeah, hardened steel gear and wheel nuts. Wheel nuts, love those wheel nuts, covered wheel nuts. They will be going on the caracal before you know it. Oh, because they just stop mud and crap getting in there and making you being able to service your drive shafts. Yes, not because the other wheel nuts will be crap or fall off, mm. but. These stop rubbish getting into your drive pin. Well, you know, you normally got a grub screw that holds the pin in there, right? That's right. And then when you got dirt, hips. that's right. And when you got all the dirt stuck in there, you got to that's dig right. it all out. You got to dig it out, mm. and fuff around where you got these ones. No dirt Clean in there all the time. No dirt for you. That's right. That's what's in Brett's bag this week. You fit a lot of stuff in there, didn't you? I did. Well, I was pretty excited. We had some yeah. really cool stuff. Oh, yeah, it's all good. No? Yeah. Like these. Special, These are really cool. Getting, oh, after right. seeing the BD12 go last week at the New South Wales State Trials, I'm so excited to 